Oh my goodness, we're running so late. Being a parent is the best. <laughs> you all know what I mean if you do. All right, what do we have today? Ugh, a nice little indica. What was it called? Critical mass. Critical mass it is. Well, it was a decent little run today, too. Let's take a look at the actual numbers. $173, which is 1.53% up in the last 12 hours since 420 this morning. In fact, the VAR even closed a little better than that. Yeah, just a bit. So, killer. Good, decent little 12-hour run. Uh, I've been gone for a couple days, unexpectedly, so I haven't chartered in a bit. We took a little trip to a valley, had this weird spike for some reason and then came back up but let's take a look at the cloud let's take a look at the forecast i don't care about the last few days where we headed so we're trading inside the cloud not a great sign let's get the little more detail there we go we don't want to be trading inside the cloud it necessarily it's um a sign of uncertainty and it's a sign that the cloud is we'll look at everything nothing tells us very much i mean these two guys are going completely flat uh, they're the order we want to see them is trading literally on top of you know its own bar the lagging indicator is dead in the middle of everybody else um, mm -hmm. so we don't get a ton out of that so right now it's hard to say but it is a thin band of resistance so we'll see um, some technical analysis oh, by the way this is obviously nothing remotely like advice I'm just smoking a bong entertaining myself um these two bottoms here are usually a sign for a bull run so perhaps that's the beginning of one and we'll see um i think if we do some more fundamental analysis we can have a better idea but let's do one more real quick let's look at ema ribbons yeah they're closing up here which means something might move is what they usually say and these are pointed up so you know, that supports that. I don't know how to read these except for when those get tight. It's about to do something. But I could already probably guess it wants to do something, Bitcoin. Because, I mean, this has been the week, right? And Bitcoin doesn't uh, do a lot of sideways very often. If you ignore a few of these big jumps and uh, that that corrected right away, we've been hovering just right under 11.5 for a long time now. So, yeah, it looks like Bitcoin wants to... Wants to break 11.5 and stay there for a bit. There's a trend line. Oh, we're staying inside of a channel I drew quite some time ago. So far. So, yeah. We'll see if we can get close to it. A uh, friend of mine who is definitely just uh, a good technical analysis guy. Yeah. Anyway, he says around 13 is where he thinks it'll go on the next little run. So we'll see. All right, news. I gotta keep this one short. My kids are being crazy. Filecoin finally launched. I've been interested in this one for a while. I was really interested in Burst Coin, but I don't know. The mining on that never really there was wasn't great documentation. Couldn't figure it out. I don't know. Um, Filecoin though looks like they went live today, huh? Um, they started trading on Kraken um, very recently as well, so. It's decentralized storage. It's mining hard drives instead of GPUs and stuff like that. So I'm pretty interested myself. I think I can afford hard drives in a way that I uh, definitely can't afford as much GPUs. Well, I'm going to keep the news just that short. Um, and I will uh, make it in the morning. Knock it out. Talk to you guys later. Bye.